Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we have to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price because we had a breakout to the downside from this potential nice bullish pattern, this nice ascending triangle. Today all the stocks in Europe currently are tanking so we have to analyze what are my expectations also for the stock market, especially Nasdaq. We're gonna also have a look into Ethereum and at the end of course into the US dollar index and Nasdaq. So this video is brought to you by Delta Exchange. Here you can trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage and if you use my sign up link in the video description you can get up to thirty thousand dollars in trading bonus and next to your own trading you can of course also just park your cryptos here and get some very nice api and next to that take advantage of the robo strategies especially the top 20 momentum strategy here you can do very nice some passive income if you want to see my review about delta exchange then make sure to watch the video that is popping up at the end of this video and now my friends, let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin, because as you can see, we had now the four hour closes below the support trend line of $30,000. And we have right now the median line of the Kelton channels as a resistance. So as long as we have four hour closes below $29,600, we probably are on the way down to retest the lows here at around $26,000. Also because today we have currently the European stock market tanking a bit. So if the US market, as soon as we are opening up, the US market is going to start in green, then of course we have very good chances for a nice recovery, but we have to close here as soon as possible, four hour closes back above $31,000. So back above this support trend line in order to have the chance for a nice run up towards $36,000. That is the breakout target out of this ascending triangle if this is just a fake out. But currently we are breaking out lower and of course the chance is higher that we have to come back down to revisit the $26,000 area before we eventually create a bottom and afterwards maybe start another attempt to push higher. The reason why I believe that we could see here a potential fake out and we could have a straight recovery back above $31,000 and continue the breakout towards $36,000 is because currently in the four hour time frame we have an increase in money flow together with the buy signal and as soon as the RSI is back above the 50 level because we are coming very close to the 50 level in the RSI we could see nice follow through to the upside but of course as long as we have four hour closes below the top of the Keltner channel so below 31 thousand dollars and also below this uh, support trend line this green support trend line we're gonna remain in this downtrend so we have to see thirty one thousand dollars as soon as possible as a new support otherwise we will continue the downtrend probably even down towards twenty six thousand dollars and then we're gonna see if we're getting there a bounce or not and if we switch now over into the daily time frame you can see that currently even though yesterday we had another dump we are getting supported by the bottom of the Keltner channels we never came again below the bottom of the Keltner channels that is a bullish thing and next to that we had also bullish divergence we are seeing right now higher lows in the RSI but lower lows in the daily time frame so the daily closes have lower lows and that of course is a bullish divergence and we could expect at any time a nice retest of the median line of the Keltner channels at $32,000 and then maybe even see a full pump up towards the top of the Keltner channels currently at around $37,000 and retest this huge support trend line which now is new resistance this blue trend line because whenever we are trading above we are seeing uh, big pumps but when we are trading below it we are seeing such uh, huge crashes and this is what we got right now so after this huge dump I think that a potential relief rally even up towards $36,000 where we also have a new CME gap lining up up here is possible before we eventually crash lower because keep in mind that since Bitcoin has now negative money flow in the weekly time frame and we're still waiting here for a buy signal this ended up in the past of a retest of the 200 weekly moving average and currently it's here at $22,000. So I think that the potential local bottom could be in, but the absolute bottom, in my opinion, is not in as long as we're not testing here the 200 weekly moving average, because even there we have some CME gaps lining up. And that's why I think that it's even possible that we are going to go down towards the low 20s, but before we could see a potential relief rally to test new resistance levels, since we never uh, are just going down in a straight line. 
But if Bitcoin would be able to recover back above $36,000 and could initiate a run up even above the median line of the Keltner channels in the weekly time frame, which is currently at 40k, we could see a potential retest of the top of the Keltner channels currently at 50k and also this pink trend line that you can see here currently at $48,000, perfectly matching the bearish retracement level of this whole move from the all time high of $69,000 and the local bottom that we have for now at $25,000. $5,000 and this pink trend line is coming from the last lows that we had because if we connect the lows that we created since we have the 200 weekly moving average because here you can see that the 200 weekly moving average started in May 2014 and if we switch now over into the lines chart you can see that if we connect here a trend line from the first time that we left the 200 weekly moving average so when we bottomed out here at around 290 dollars and we connect the lows that we created here for example here the low uh, in 2019 at 3500 dollars you can see that this trend line often acted as a very strong support and whenever we crashed below those signaled a capitulation phase and we always came down to the 200 weekly moving average we also rallied up it acted as a new resistance and once we broke again above we started a complete new bull run and since we now also lost this trend line as a support you can see that here we had two bounces but when we tested it for the third time we had this huge dump and so far we never came down to test the 200 weekly moving average like we did also here and that's why it is very very possible that first we have to come down and touch the 200 weekly moving average before we recover back up but if we are getting here a local bottom and we are going to see now first a relief rally then this target here the forty-eight thousand dollars could be a potential new huge resistance but once Bitcoin is having again daily and weekly closes above this trend line and above the top of the Keltner channels this is when we are seeing new all-time highs and big parabolic moves in the Bitcoin price and that's why if we're getting a rally up towards $48,000 we must break this level because then I think that we could see new all-time highs in the not so distant future for Bitcoin and the Fibonacci extension levels are way over $100,000 per Bitcoin so as long as we are below $48,000, we will not see new all-time highs. But if we would see weekly closes above this trend line and above the bearish retracement level at $48,000, if we're getting now a relief rally, we could see a potential continuation or a complete new bull run up towards new all-time highs. But as long as we are below it, things are suggesting that we first have to come down and test the 200 weekly moving average before we start any kind of serious new bull run. So even though we are still bearish and everything is looking like that we could revisit very, very soon the 200 weekly moving average, I still gonna remain with the opinion that very soon we're getting a nice relief rally. And the reason is also because of the DXY, which in my opinion is starting to have problems to push higher. We are seeing right now a retracement back in the daily time frame to the median line of the Keltner channels. It's acting as a support. This was of course clear that this is acting as a support now since during an uptrend, median line is always support but if we would see daily closes below it we could enter into a mid-term downtrend and then we have the median line of the Keltner channels in the daily time frame as a resistance and the bottom line as a support and if the DXY here is struggling to push higher we could of course enter into a corrective phase and that of course could lead into a relief rally both in the crypto and stock market because also here we have bearish divergence we have higher highs in the price action but a lower highs in the RSI and if we switch over into the weekly time frame you can see that here we're still pushing above the top of the Keltner channel so also here as soon as we are retracing back within the Keltner channels then I think that this will end up in a corrective phase or at least a consolidation phase for the DXY before we push higher or even continue to drop lower and we are very overbought in the daily and weekly time frame in the DXY and since we are inverse correlated to the DXY both the crypto and stock market we could see a strong inverse correlation and then of course a strong relief rally in the crypto and stock market if the DXY is starting to correct heavily. 
and that of course could bring then also up ethereum a lot because also here ethereum is still bleeding we are at the last resort of the bulls at $1,900 I think that $1,200 is very possible for ethereum if bitcoin would reach 20k because here we have 200 weekly moving average at this price level for ethereum so wherever bitcoin is going of course all the ethereum will follow and if bitcoin would have a strong pump towards $48,000 I think that we could revisit the $4,000 area for ethereum again before eventually we create the lower highs and continue the corrective phase and if we have a look now into nasdaq you can see that we are falling below the bottom of the Keltner channels which is extremely bearish and as long as nasdaq is pushing lower down towards the 200 weekly moving average at 10,700, this of course will bring down also the crypto market so if nasdaq is falling down towards the 200 weekly moving average i think it's very very likely that we are going to see exactly the same thing also over uh, in the crypto market especially for bitcoin and that we could easily also fall down towards the 200 weekly moving average in the bitcoin price and ethereum price if nasdaq is falling down towards these uh, price levels so things are still bearish here for nasdaq but if we're starting here a relief rally since we are getting some support here at 11,700, we could see the same thing also over in the crypto market but as long as nasdaq and overall the stock market is crashing down we are going to follow that of course and the only reason why we could get a very fast recovery here over on nasdaq is in my opinion because of the us dollar index because just based on the charts we are losing all kind of important support levels and that's why only if the us dollar index is starting to crash or having a major consolidation phase this could be the chance for the crypto and stock market for a nice recovery but as long as the dxy is pumping like crazy we are still in our bear market and we will continue to drop lower down towards those bearish targets where we have the 200 weekly moving average in most assets so things are still bearish my friends let's see where this train will take us in my opinion a relief rally before we eventually crash lower is in the cards especially if the dxy is starting to correct here so let's wait and see what will happen in the next coming hours and days because if bitcoin is able to push above thirty-one thousand dollars, we could see a nice rally up towards 36k maybe even up towards forty eight thousand dollars. but everything is going to be depending of course also what the stock market is doing and also the us dollar index so i hope that this video helped you a lot my friends if so then make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos make sure to sign up to delta exchange because with my link you can get up to thirty thousand dollars in trading bonus and don't forget to follow me also in my other social media platforms because sometimes i also upload some updates over there so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.